If ever there were a picture of hell on earth, the tormented city of Bakhmut would surely be a contender. Hollowed out of nearly all life as rockets rain down all around. The city is on fire, says this soldier. The enemy pushes on, Ukraine will live. It is a fight, though, for a city that's been on life support for months now. Ukrainian troops holding Bakhmut despite predictions to the contrary. But Ukraine's leadership has hinted that time may soon be called on the city's defense. Russian troops reportedly close to surrounding it. We've been suffering significant losses, says this Ukrainian soldier codenamed Fox. Everyone is on edge. This special ops soldier, call sign Little Bear, says he knows what the Ukrainian soldiers in Bakhmut are going through. He was one of the last soldiers to leave Severodonetsk, another Ukrainian city battered to the ground by Russian shelling. From one side, we were completely surrounded by the Russians, he said. On the other side, behind us, was the river. A father of four, he lost his leg to a landmine on his way out. Less than a year later, he's back with his unit in this safe house, although he's no longer leading the charge. Our situation is that the enemy's manpower is very large, he says. We must resist him not by force, but by mind and skill. No doubt hard to reach for in the kind of fighting that's been compared to the trench warfare of World War I. We did not run away, says another soldier called Kai in Bakhmut. We are all here. This is the spirit we need. He also says more ammunition would help with that. Ukraine's frontline soldiers, all anxious for the help promised by the West to arrive soon. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Kyiv.